Hello everyone, I welcome you another video for decoding respiratory medicine and in today's video lecture I am going to discuss one of the importance and the largest lung cancer screening trials worldwide. So the three large lung cancer screening trials conducted worldwide are as follows. Number one was a National Lung Screening Trial, NLST in US. Number two was a Nelson Trial in Europe. And number three was a Lung Cancer Screening Study in UK, LS, UK. So are you ready? Let's get started. The first trial is National Lung Cancer Trial, Screening Trial in US. It was conducted by a National Cancer Institute in US. It was a landmark trial that involved over uh, 53,000 participants aging between 55 to 74. And uh, NLSD compared uh, two screening methods, low dose uh, computed uh, topography, that is LDCT, and a standard chest X-rays. The trial results published in 2011 and it showed a 20% reduction in lung cancer mortality among those screened with LDCT compared to chest X-ray. This finding significantly impacted lung cancer screening guidelines in the US. Let's dig into more. So the objective of the of this study was to uh, determine whether Low dose computed uh, topography LDCT screening was more effective than chest X ray in reducing lung cancer mortality among high risk individuals. The trial involved more than 50,000 participants who were aged in between 55 to 74 who were current or former heavy smokers with at least 50 pack years of smoking history. Screening methods, uh, participants were randomized into two groups. One group received annual low-dose CT scans for three years, while other group received annual chest X-rays for the same duration. Results. The National Lung Screening Trial found that low-dose CT screening reduced a lung cancer mortality by 20% compared to chest X-ray screening. This result led to a changes in lung cancer screening guidelines in US. Next. So moving forward to the another uh, trial that was a Nelson uh, trial conducted in Europe. It was uh, a European lung cancer screening trial conducted in Belgium and Netherlands. It involved over 15,000 participants primarily aged between 50 to 74 and uh, most important uh, at high risk uh, high risk due to lung cancer that is they have a background history of a smoking the trial assessed the effectiveness of a low dose ct screening in reducing a lung cancer mortality results from nelson trials were published in 2020 and they demonstrated a substantial reduction in lung cancer deaths in ldct screening group compared to the control group, supporting the value of screening in high-risk population. Let's dig into more. So the objective of this study was aimed to assess the impact of uh, low-dose CT screening on the lung cancer mortality in a European population. And the participants, as I told you before, over 15,000 aged between 50 to 74 primarily current or former smoker with a significant smoking history. That was the most important point. And the participants were randomly assigned to either a low-dose CT scan screening group or the, or the control group, which did not receive uh, screening. Nelson trial reported a statistically significant reduction in lung cancer mortality among individuals who underwent uh, LDCT screening. This study provided a valuable insight into the potential benefits of lung cancer screening in a European context. Now the, 
the last one is the lung cancer screening study in UK. UKLS was a lung cancer screening trial conducted in UK. It included over 4,000 participants aged between 50 to 75 who were either current or former smokers. The trial aimed to evaluate the impact of low-dose CT screening on lung cancer detection and mortality. While the trial did not find a statistically significant reduction in lung cancer mortality in the LDCT group, it provided a valuable insight into the challenges and benefits of lung cancer screening in the UK. Let's dig into more. So the objective of this uh, trial was to determine whether LDCT screening can reduce a lung cancer mortality in a high risk population. The trial involved individuals at a high risk group for lung cancer, primarily based on their smoking history. Participants were typically aged in between 50 to 75 and had a significant smoking history. Although specific eligi eligibility criteria may vary, screening methods, the participants in the UK LS trial receive low dose CT scans at a specified interval as a part of the screening process and the trial aimed to assess whether early detection through a low dose CT could lead to a better outcomes for individuals with the lung cancer. It was a very brief explanation. Uh, you might need to read this trial in detail. I tried to cover the main objectives the participants, those were included and what was the main result. And there are multiple other trials going on already. So you can dig into more. Uh, you can guess another trial name. In, and it's metrics. Try to read about the metrics as well. These are the references. Thank you. We'll see you in another video. Uh, please subscribe and share.